Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So Ubiquiti introduced its latest access point, the U7 Pro. So get ready for lightning fast speed and interference free 6 gigahertz Wi-Fi. With the Wi-Fi 7 technology, you can enjoy drastically improved performance and stability. But before we begin, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos. So here's what comes in the box. You get the access point itself. You also get a ceiling and wall mount. You get various size screws and anchors, and also a T-mount, which is really for suspended or drop ceilings used by companies. So this is really, the T-mount is not for use at home. Um, so let's take a look at this closely. You can see it's the same. Uh, shape. It's a slightly bigger, slightly heavier access point than some of the other ones. Uh, and again, in the back, you just get the reset button and the uh, uh, Ethernet port in here. Now, this is a 2.5 gig uh, port, just as an FYI. We've all been in situations where you ask yourself this question. When you go and purchase a wireless router, you go home, you plug it in, and wonder, why am I not getting the speed and the throughput that's advertised on the box, right? We've all been there. Well, here's why. So wired connection is full duplex, which means data is transmitted and received simultaneously. But Wi-Fi connection is half duplex, meaning it cannot send and receive data simultaneously. Also, the advertised speed is divided between the uplink and the downlink activities. The uplink being your ISP connection, and the downlink is all of your clients that are connected to your wireless AP. If that's not enough, then you also have the protocol overhead, which eats up about 50% of that transmission. Add to the mix interference and other factors like walls, the glass that you may have that blocks and reduces the signal, you also have other wave signals and electrical outlet that may interfere with the signal. And by then, your signal is pretty weak. This is where the Unify 7 Pro solves this problem. The 6 gigahertz band triples the Wi-Fi spectrum and provides interference-free signal for clients that support 6 gigahertz. Now that's the operative keyword. Wi-Fi 7 has three new key features, and those are, first, it doubles the maximum channel width from 160 megahertz to 320 megahertz. This gives you an airspeed of 5.7 gigabit per second. The second key feature is the multi-link operation, or MLO, which combines the 2.4 and the 5, as well as the 6 gigahertz channel into a single channel called the super channel. This gives Wi-Fi 7 clients a massive range of bandwidth with low latency. Now the third key feature is puncturing, which allows the super channel to operate continuously and to eliminate noise interference when you combine it with the multi-link operation. So with Unify 7 Pro, you can expect a wire-like speed without compromise. Now here's the gotcha. You can buy this today, but you won't be able to take advantage of it right now. And here's why. The six gigahertz upgrades your authentication protocol from WPA2 to WPA3. It also sets the PMF, which is your protected management frames, to required. Now here's the issue. A handful of brand new clients supports 6 gigahertz. Most clients support Wi-Fi 4 and Wi-Fi 5. Some support Wi-Fi 6. But you need Wi-Fi 6E, not 6, to take advantage of the 6 gigahertz that I'm talking about. Very small number of clients that are brand new are supporting Wi-Fi 6E, and those are generally like the major manufacturers like Apple and, and, and the like. 
Wi-Fi 7, on the other hand, which is even newer, there are absolutely no clients that support Wi-Fi 7 as of today or as of the recording of this video, which is March of 2024. It will take about at least, I would say, uh, maybe two to three years before manufacturers play catch up and produce devices that support Wi-Fi 7. So while Wi-Fi 7 and the Unify 7 Pro solves the problems that I described earlier, no clients support this right now. If you enable 6 gigahertz, it will upgrade your authentication to WPA3 and it will set your PMF to required and your client will fail to connect to your access point, which means you will have no internet connection. Now I'm going to connect this AP and show you how the adoption process works. I just plugged the AP to my power over Ethernet switch and it's booting up. It should take about you know, a minute before it appears. So while this is connecting and being discovered by the controller, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how easy it is to adopt this AP. I'm also going to show you how it, the AP will automatically update itself to the latest firmware, and then we'll be done. Here we go. The controller discovered the new access point. I'm going to click Adopt, and we're going to wait for about a couple of minutes. The access point is now adopted, and it just started upgrading itself automatically, which can take anywhere from three to five minutes. Ubiquiti simplifies the adoption and firmware upgrade process for all of their products, which is really one of the reasons I love Ubiquiti. The upgrade is successful and the status is going to change to getting ready. Then after that, it will change again to ready. I hope this review was very helpful. Please consider liking and subscribing to my channel and make sure you hit the bell notification icon. If you have any questions or comments, write them down below and I will respond to you as soon as possible. Until we meet next, have a great weekend and boycott Israel and all companies supporting the genocide against Gaza and free Palestine.